All right, Pet Man Matt Marshall, Football Insiders. We're back once again. Uh, we're very excited to talk to um, who I think is a very talented and underrated kid. Um, now at Butler High School, um, the past three years, you know, I've been very impressed with his game. Um, and we're trying to give him a bigger spotlight and a bigger platform so, you know, coaches can recognize, you know, how special, you know, this kid is on the field, in my opinion. And that is Donovan Woods, DB from uh, the Butler Bulldogs. I'm going to bring him on right now. Yeah, how you doing? Thank you for having me. I'm good, man. I'm good. How you doing today? Good. Good, good. So um, I appreciate you being a part of this with us, Donovan. Um, first off, I want to start out by asking you, um, in, in your opinion, what are your strengths as a player on the football field? Um, some of my biggest strengths on the football field is um, I really know what I'm doing. Like in zone coverage, I can play zone really well. I can bait the quarterback to throw a ball. And then to me, one of my strongest is I'm a corner and I can come down and tackle really well. I can tackle great in the open field. And I can play man too. And if they need me to drop back and play safety, I can do that. And I can tackle in the box and all that stuff. So I think that's one of my biggest strengths. And also, I'm a leader, too, as well. So, you know, playing at East Mac the last two years, I was big. I was a big leader on the defense and stuff. And I think that's one of my biggest strengths, as long as I can tackle and I can cover. Very good. And I definitely agree, you know, with what you're saying, especially from the coverage part. I've, saw, I've seen that firsthand um, at a couple of camps I saw you at um, over the summer. Um, you know, you were very impressive. You were a top performer. Um, so that's, you know, reflected in that. And we're going to look at your tape here in just a second as well. Uh, you mentioned, you know, you were at East Mech the last two years and now you're at Butler. Uh, some people may be asking, well, why would you leave East Mech for Butler? Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Um, the biggest reason was, it was my senior year. And like we already had COVID and I just wanted that already messed up a lot of recruiting. So I just wanted to go on my senior year have no regrets. I didn't want to finish the season and be like, oh, I could have done this. I could have did this and that. So I just said, I'm going to go out. I'm going to put myself in the best opportunity for myself. I know I'm at Butler. We got a chance to go deep in the playoffs and get a ring this year. So that's the best opportunity for me. Then at East Mac, a lot of the kids, they weren't taking online classes series and stuff. So their grades was bad and like half the team was ineligible. And that was just the last straw for me. And that's what made me just like go, go to Butler. It's a better opportunity. I know we got a great opportunity to be great as a team to go deep in the playoffs and get a ring this year. You know, I definitely agree with those words about your, your teammates at Butler. And, you know, obviously with Coach Hales and his pedigree and they've got a great staff and, you know, you have some real talent over there. So I, I definitely agree. You know, there's a chance to, to really, you know, do something special this year. Uh, absolutely. Um, so what are you looking for from a college ideally on the next level for you? Um, I just want to go to a college that's going, like, the college that really wants me, a college that shows interest, is like a family. And when the, I just want to go to a good program, a good head coach, a good D, uh, DB coach that uh, will, like, help me get better and prepare me for the next level. And I really want to go to a program that's on the right path, that's not losing a whole lot of games, because I already came from losing a lot, and I'm honestly tired of losing. But the main part is just going to a college that wants me for me. And it's like a big family. Very good. Eric. And, you know, that's it's good to know that you're so specific on what you're looking for, because it's a place you're going to be for four years, you know, ideally. So you know, that's, that's excellent. Um, you know, finally, I want to know from you, why should a college offer you and give you a chance to decide if you want to be a part of them for the next four years? Um, I think they should offer me because, I mean, my work ethic is something that just can't be questioned. I mean, I played on a team that was 2-20 in the last two years. Plenty of people would have already gave up. They would have quit. They would have stopped playing football. But I'm still going hard every day. I'm still working hard. So I'm going to go hard. I'm going to give my all no matter what. If I'm losing, if I'm winning, we can beat by 30 points. It don't matter. I'm going to still give it my all. And that's just something you can't teach. That's just something that comes with me. And that's why I think a college should give me a chance. Because I'm going to give him my all no matter what. And I'm a great athlete and I'm an even better person. Very good. And I definitely agree with everything you said right there. I mean, your character is off the charts, in my opinion. So, um, very good right there. 
Uh, I'm going to bring in our player analyst, Justin Adams, and then we're going to take a look at your film here. So let's do that. What's going on, gentlemen? Hey. Good morning, Justin. How you doing, man? Pretty good. Pretty good. How about yourself? Doing good. Doing good. Um, Donovan's here with us. We're getting ready to break down this uh, highlight okay. film right here. Okay, cool, man. I heard a lot about you, Donovan. All right, so we got this right here. Looks like the first one. This is against Hickory Ridge. So, Donovan, you're down here at the bottom. I don't know why. Hmm. Hmm. Is it both of us or just me? It might be just me. Is it me? No, I straight knock in now. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. So, uh, Donovan, this first one's against uh, Hickory Ridge. What do we What do we got going right here? Um, that's just I, that was just man all the way across. It was it was just the end of the game. They was driving. It's just straight man. Yeah, that's uh, – um, <laughs> I don't get no better than that right there. I mean, it's like he's oh, trying yeah. to throw a fade on you and yeah, you, know, you him. have no good really technique. Throw the ball. Mm -hmm. All right, Justin, what do you got on this one? Uh, it's great technique. Like I said, you, you buzz your feet at the line. Um, you had great eyes on the man the whole time. You didn't, you didn't turn your body – too soon, uh, and you, you made a great adjustment to the ball in the end zone there to uh, go up for the high point and catch the uh, interception. So that was great play across the board right there. Thank you, Coach. So, I mean, right there off the bat, we're looking at ball skills and, you know, great technique and man coverage. That's so, hey, that's perfect. All right. What's this? Porter Ridge next. We'll let it play one more time. Okay. And this was Hickory Ridge, right? This, yeah. this last school. Yeah. That was, was that a home game? No, that was at Hickory Ridge. That was at okay. school. Yes. This was Porter Ridge. I think this was like right before halftime or some. We was just in cover three. We just put, everybody was playing far back. The quarterback really just gifted this to me, to be honest. The only thing I don't like about it was all my coaches say I should have went up and high pointing it. But <laughs> yeah. Hey, it was coming right to you. You didn't have to go to high point for that. You was by yourself on that one. Yeah. And I was mad. I tripped up over. I, I tripped up over my own feet and stuff. I mean, yeah, that that was pretty easy. I think I could have made that one myself. <laughs> <laughs> you just threw it up. All right, that's a gift. So yeah, I mean, that was a good run back. I mean, you know, there's a lot of people to get through there. The quarterback must be your friend, man. He just gave it to you. He said, "Let me, let me give it to him." So you're coming three, right? So you just bail, right? You did bail technique. Yeah, they they, they just ran four verse, and he just he just launched that thing. Yeah. And this play right here, nice. this, was, this was a punt return. This was a punt return. So I was just, I was honestly, I didn't expect them to throw this ball. I was just like guarding the the gunner, and then I just see him throw the ball. Oh! Oh! Wow! Now it's also the Hickory Ridge game. I wish I would have stayed up right there, though. That field was just so wet. So were they down in this game? Because they just they just went for it. Like, they was, nah, they was just... beating us by, like, it was beating us by, like, uh, it was either 30 or 20. That was, like, wow. third quarter maybe. That was deep in the game, too. So they were starting to run it up on you guys. And I'm yeah, glad they... you, had, you had to catch that pick. Let them know. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was my second you one. You know, I – I've coached for 13 years, and I have never seen a play like this. <laughs> nah. I mean, usually if it's a fake, you know, it's kind of more, you know, I don't know if it was planned like that. But, I mean, either way, you know, you made a good play on the ball and came down, you know, with the the interception. So, I mean, that's, that's a good job, but that was a, a unique situation right there. <laughs> yeah it was i was confused myself wow <laughs> well one thing right, that stuck, one thing that stuck out on that play is uh most kids they take special teams lightly and they don't really go hard and you actually you stayed with the play the whole time which it, 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 it awarded you with the with the interception so yes sir yeah 
All right, so this is Myers Park. What we got here, Donovan? So this like was one of my favorite plays of the season. We was in this coverage, like it's like a cover two kinda. And they just want me to they want they want me to just break on the first oh. thing that comes out. And yeah, that was what that was one of my favorite plays of the season. That hit right there. That that felt good. Nice. Definitely not afraid of contact. Mm. All right, Justin, what you got here? I, I didn't even see this. It just kicked me off, so I just just got connected. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, you play the cover two zone perfectly. I mean, you got your eyes on the threat coming to the flat, and then you just lay him out. And um, you talk a little smack after that one? Mm -hmm. A little bit, not too much though, because I, <laughs> I think I think the score was already like the score might have been already like fourteen to zero or something, so it, was, it wasn't much I could say. But I was saying a little bit of smack. Yeah, <laughs> I feel you. That was a good downhill play. Yeah, cover two, and then you just drive it. There you go. And then the technique and the tackle is very good too. Yeah, I mean, you get your head across. Shoulder in the gut. Yep, that's a good job right there. All right, what's this? Uh, RG Kell? Oh, yeah, this is RG Kell. This, I think this was straight man, too. This was straight man also in the goal line. Another coming up. And, okay, your run support is really strong here. Yeah, right here, I just – the receiver, he was just – the receiver was just, like, not trying to block me. So I just dipped inside and made a tackle. Because, honestly, if I had made that tackle, mm -hmm. I think he would have scored. So – Yeah, like I've said a couple times before, um, as an OC, we design plays to get people one-on-one -on -one in the run game against a corner because typically corners don't run support that well in high school. Right. But, I mean, you're an excellent run support, you know, corner, you know, uh, as, we, as we've seen already a couple times, and that's, you know, a rare talent, and you're not afraid of contact. So, you know, that's a huge plus, you know, for somebody looking for – a full, true DB on the next level. Yeah, sir. Uh, Justin, what you got on what you got on this? Yeah, so I noticed. Did you said that, that the receiver wasn't blocking, which was which was key yeah, on this, but, and that was key because normally as a corner we're taught to attack the outside shoulder, and you actually dipped in a little bit. But I mean, you you're able to make that play because because he wasn't blocking. I'm glad you noticed that. Uh, but yeah, typically you would definitely attack the outside shoulder, but. Uh, like I said, you came downhill full speed and you made the play. So that's that's all the that coach can ask for right there. Yes, sir. All right, let's do two more. All right, this is against Rocky River. All right, what we got here? No. We, was in, we was in cover two right here. I think that's Lee on the okay. back side at safety. And they was just running the ball, and I came up and made a good hit. That's – Wow, that's another one. Another great run support play right here. Physical corner, for sure. Mm-hmm. Do you have any aversions to playing safety at all? Um, I don't think I don't think it's in my um it's not in my junior highlights. It's in my sophomore ones. I got a couple when I was at safety. Mm hmm I only really play safety. That's good, sir. I think I only played safety a little bit the Mars Park game last year because mm -hmm. our safety Jameer his back was cramping and stuff. Oh okay. All right, we got uh Independence. All right, what we got here, Donovan? Oh, this play right here, I was just straight man to man. I was on the island backside. That's all right. Okay. And he ran like a double move kind of, and just went. I got my head around. And I tried and I made a play on the ball. Good stuff right there. I mean, especially, you know, on a double move, they try to isolate you like that. You know, that's a great job right there. Because usually they, you're running that against, you know, you're running that with your best guy, you know, and, right. you know, trying to just take advantage of single coverage. Um, you didn't fall for it. You recovered well. You got back. Ball skills showed well, and then you, you know, make the PBU as you mentioned. Yes, sir. Uh, Justin, what you got on that? Oh, that was good. That was good coverage. That was 
glad you didn't bite on that. Uh, you flipped your hips and you ran with them, and uh, it was an incompletion. So, like I said, you you running you running step by step by by everybody. So I can see that you got some speed on you. Um, have you uh, have you played uh, the, any of the nickel corner? I haven't played any that like in a, I haven't played it in like a full an actual uh, game. I played in seven on seven stuff, but not okay, I okay. bad. So you're comfortable with playing that as well, right? Yeah. Okay, so you can play anywhere in the secondary. Yeah, basically. Okay, cool. Uh, we're going to let it run uh, through these last couple ones. This last one was against RJ Kell. It's another pass breakup. Yeah, that was – I broke it up. They threw it to the slot, and I came off my man. They ran double post, and I came off, and I um I knocked the ball off. I knocked the ball out of his hands. Good recognition right there. I think next one is Rocky River. Yeah, that was man again. So you're the island guy. They put you on the island. Yeah, most of okay. the time, what they do. All right, Gander. Yep. No, that's they're that's breaking Butler. the ball right there. Oh, Butler. I'm sorry. Yep, Butler. This is another play from special teams I got on my highlights. That's the punt return. Or kick punt, not punt return. Oh, you punt too? Nah. I was I mean, the gunner in this play. He's the gunner, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, that's nice. So yeah, Justin, what's what's the point you always talk about with special teams? With so you were a gunner on this play, right? Nah, I'm like right here in the line. I'm just blocking. I release. I'm sorry. Can you run that back, Matt? All right. But you're on the outside, right? On the line, right? Yeah. I'm like, gotcha. I'm like, I'm the, I was the first one to release. God said, so he just let you loose. Yeah. Gotcha. Hey, that's a good way to stay in your lane and uh, feel, feeling, uh, feeling up down, going down the field. Like I said, you ran full speed. And that's what you got to do on special teams. You got to run full speed to the ball to make sure he is uh, stopped uh, from minimum gains, which you, which you did there. Uh, yeah, it's all about staying in your lane and with this. And uh, that's what you did. You did a good job of that. You didn't get outside. You contained the man, and you made sure he didn't break for uh, any big game. This was against Hager Ridge, too. Mm. Oh, that's gotta, against Diggy. Yeah, yeah. You got to run that back. Yeah, I was kind of mad. He ain't played the whole game. He only played like, <laughs> he played like the first half. I only got like he only got like two or three balls thrown. So you had to let him feel that. You had to. Like you ain't played the whole half. Yeah, you gonna feel this. <laughs> Come down. Feel that, it. Good oh. break. What was that cover? What was that cover three again? Let me go back. Yeah. Nah, yeah. I was I was man backside. They was covering yeah, three. Like, oh, okay. cover three to the Off three. man. Okay. Gotcha. Well, the main thing I see throughout this, and we're just gonna let this run, Justin, and I'll give our final thoughts. Okay. The main thing I see is a physical player. Um and we it's it's demonstrated, you know, at the corner spot. It's demonstrated on special teams. Um, run support is really good. We see this right here. You make a sack on the quarterback uh, when he's scrambling out the pocket. Um, you know, you when we interviewed earlier, you said you're willing to, you know, pretty much do whatever it takes to, you know, for the team to be successful. And it's reflected on this tape right here. I mean, your run support and your pass covering, your own special teams, um, you know, you're doing a, a, a great job. And here – Nice open field tackle on the screen play right there. That's excellent. Um, I mean, it's a complete package. I mean, I haven't seen you, you know, look like you're getting beat anytime over the top. Um, you know, it's a complete, you know, DB right here. And your willingness to, you know, play safety as well, I think it's going to open, you know, many more doors for you. Um, Justin, what's your final thoughts? Yeah, man, like you said, uh, physical corner, they could cover. You know what I'm saying? That's that's key. You, you you rarely see the whole package. And you, you have the whole package as a DB. Like I said, uh, you're running downhill, full speed, you're making tackles, and you also you're the island guy that's uh that's locking up the best 
receiving on the other team. So uh, that's something that, that the coaches definitely want to have at the next level with uh, having that true that true corner or a true DB because it seems like you can play any position in, in the secondary. So, um, yeah, you'll definitely be a, a true asset to to a team at the next level. And uh, coaches definitely need to stop sleeping on you because I uh, got the whole package, man, for sure. Thank you, Coach. Do you have any offers right now? I got Concord, Methodist too, Methodist, Concord and Methodist. Okay. Yeah, well, Concord, we'll get this out. And Concord ahead, came out last week. They offered like everybody in Charlotte. But... Yeah. <laughs> and... Well, that's that's what's happening. You know, a lot of these schools are, you know, it's it's a different process this year, which yeah. is why we're doing this. Nah, you for know. Sure. Everything with COVID, yeah. all the yeah. transport and stuff. Mm, for sure, for sure. All right, so Donovan, I appreciate the time once again, and um, you know, I'll get this out as soon as possible. Um, you know, I, I think you're you're definitely under recruited, and you know, I think you'll garner some more attention once we get this out there. All right, thank you for having me, both of y'all. Oh yeah, for sure, man. Keep working. Thank you, man. Appreciate it.